Hello and thanks for tuning in. On the menu today are sweet shredded dried mushrooms. These mushrooms make for a great light snack and are healthy, low in calories, but very tasty. We use oyster mushrooms, which are shredded and then baked in the oven until they have dried out before being mixed with a sweet sauce, baked one final time and then eaten. They are quite easy to make and the most time consuming part is the actual shredding of the mushrooms, but after that it's plain sailing. They can be eaten on their own as a light snack or with some sticky rice just to bulk them out. So on screen now are the ingredients. A full list of the ingredients, as always, is on our blog. A link to that is in the description box just below this video. Okay, so let's get started. Begin by slicing 250 grams of oyster mushrooms into thin strips or shreds, and then spread them out across a baking tray. Put them in the oven to bake for about 30 to 40 minutes at 200 degrees. Make sure that you check them every 10 minutes just to make sure that they don't burn. You want them dried out but not burnt. Now we need to make the sweet sauce. Add one tablespoon of palm sugar to a mixing bowl, and if you're using the hard palm sugar, heat it for about 10 seconds in the microwave just to soften it up. Now add one tablespoon of water to the mixing bowl and mix with the palm sugar. Then add one teaspoon of soy sauce and continue mixing with the palm sugar. Finally add in one tablespoon of sesame seeds and stir everything together. Once the shredded mushrooms have dried out in the oven, add them to the mixing bowl with the sauce and stir together thoroughly. Then just spread the mushrooms out on a baking tray and place them back in the oven to bake for a final 5 to 10 minutes at 200 degrees. And then they're ready to eat. You can serve these on their own as a light snack or with some sticky rice. And that's all there really is to it. We hope you enjoyed the recipe. Stay tuned for lots more Thai and Asian inspired recipes. If you have any questions about the recipe, just leave a comment below and we'll get back to you. So thanks once again for watching and hopefully we'll see you again on a future recipe video.